and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Consider the following statements. Raptors facilitate long distance speed dispersal which indirectly increases seed production and pest control. Raptors memorandum of understanding is an agreement under the Bonn Convention for the protection of migratory animals. Raptors MOU is a legally binding agreement. We have to select the correct statement. So, if we talk about this, the first statement is definitely correct. And the memorandum of understanding of Raptors, it is an agreement under the Bonn Convention for the protection of migratory animals, but it is not a legally binding treaty or agreement. So, the third statement is incorrect. The first and second are correct. The correct answer to this question is option B. According to recent research, around 30% of the 557 raptor species around the world are threatened by extinction to some degree. Raptors prey on a wide range of vertebrates and thus facilitate long distance seed dispersal. This indirectly increases seed production and pest control. Raptors Memorandum of Understanding is an agreement under the Bonn Convention for the protection of migratory animals. Moving on, which of the following countries has become the first to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender? The correct answer to this question is option B, that is El Salvador. Moving on to the explanation, recently El Salvador became the first country in the world to adopt Bitcoin as a legal tender. A real-world experiment prominent say will lower commission costs for billions of dollars sent home from abroad but which critics want may fuel money laundering. Moving on, consider the following statements. INS Tabar is a Talwar class stealth frigate built for the Indian Navy in France. Stealth frigates can escape detection by normal radars and surveillance equipment. We have to select the incorrect statement. So, INS Tabar, which is a Talwar class stealth frigate that is built for the Indian Navy in Russia and not France. So, the first statement is incorrect. The second is definitely correct. The correct answer to this question is option A, that is one only. Recently, the Indian Navy ship Tabar undertook a maritime partnership exercise with Egyptian Navy ship Alexandria a frontline frigate of the Egyptian Navy in the Mediterranean Sea. Moving on to the next question, consider the following statements. The World Conservation Congress is conducted by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. The first World Conservation Congress was held in Switzerland in 1948. Indonesia's Komodo dragon has been moved from vulnerable to endangered. In the IUCN red list update, we have to select the correct statement. Recently, India's Komodo dragon became endangered from, red from vulnerable in the IUCN red list. So, the third statement is correct. And the World Conservation Congress is conducted by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. This is correct. But the first World Conservation of Congress was held in the year 1948. In the United States and not the Switzerland. So, the second statement is incorrect. The correct answer to this question is option C. The world's largest and most inclusive environmental decision making from IUC and World Conservation Congress 2020 is being held in Marseille, France. The world first world conservation congress was conducted in the United States in 1948. Indonesia's Komodo dragon, Varanus komodiensis, is the world's largest living lizard and it has been moved from vulnerable to endangered. Moving on to the next question, with reference to the cryptocurrencies, consider the following statements. Investors don't earn interest on their holdings of cryptocurrencies. However, they can borrow using it as collateral to back a loan. Stable coins are cryptocurrencies pegged to stable assets and are meant to provide the steady value of government issued money in digital form. We have to select the correct statement. Stable coins 
these are cryptocurrencies pegged to stable assets and are meant to provide steady value so that they not, do not fluctuate a lot of government issued money in digital form second statement is correct the first statement is incorrect because the investors can earn interest and they do earn interest on their holdings of cryptocurrencies the correct answer to this question is option b that is true only investors can earn interest on their holdings of digital currencies or borrow with crypto as a collateral to back a loan this is incorrect that is why moving on to the next question with reference to financial emergency in india consider the following statements it can be proclaimed by the president of india under article 360 of the indian constitution it has to be approved by both the houses of the parliament within one month of the date of its issue under this all money bills of the state legislature can be reserved for the consideration of the president we have to select the correct statement so financial emergency can be proclaimed by the president of india under article 360 of the indian constitution and also it has to be approved by both the houses of the parliament within 2 months and not 1 month of the date of the issue first is correct second is incorrect and yes under this all money bills of the state legislature can be reserved for the consideration of the president the correct answer to this question is option d recently sri lanka's government declared an economic emergency amidst rising food prices a depreciating currency and rapidly depleting forex reserves in india article 360 empowers the president to proclaim a financial emergency if he is satisfied that the situation has arisen due to which the financial stability or credit of india or any part of its territory is threatened reservation of all money bills or financial bills are reserved for the consideration of the president after they are passed by the legislature of the state and once approved by both the houses of the parliament the financial emergency continues indefinitely till it is revoked moving on consider the following statements with respect to international literacy day the first international literacy day was celebrated in 1967 and the theme of international literacy day this year is literacy for human centered recovery narrowing the fiscal divide we have to select the correct statement now if we have to select the correct statement the theme given here is wrong because it is the theme literacy for a human centered recovery this is correct narrowing the digital divide and not fiscal divide so second is incorrect the first is correct that this first the first ever international literacy day was celebrated in the year 1967 The correct answer to this question is option A. One only. The 8th of September was proclaimed International Literacy Day by the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization in 1966. The first International Literacy Day was celebrated in 1967, and this tradition has been held annually for more than 50 years now. The theme of International Literacy Day this year is literacy for a human-centered recovery, narrowing the digital divide. Consider the following statements. With regard to Sabarmati Ashram, this is Gandhi ji's first ashram in India, established in the Koshrab area of Ahmedabad. The ashram was then shifted onto a piece of open land on the banks of the river Sabarmati. The Sabarmati Ashram is also known as Harijan Ashram. We have to select the correct statement. All these statements are correct. The correct answer to this question is option D. The Prime Minister's proposal. for a larger sabarmati ashram complex has caused much anxiety among its trustees and residents with the ashram vasis third or fourth generation of ashram residents sitting on protest fearing eviction on his return from south africa gandhi ji's first ashram in india was established in the koshra area of ahmedabad on 25th may 1915 and the ashram was then shifted On 17th June 1917, to a piece of open land on the banks of River Sabarmati, and the Sabarmati Ashram, also known as Harijan Ashram, was home to Gandhi ji from 1917 until 1930, and served as one of the main centers of the Indian freedom struggle. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to the Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana. It was launched in 2017. It takes only agricultural land. 
as collateral for loans and advances. Loans up to rupees 10 lakh can be given to the non corporate, non farm, small micro enterprises under the scheme. Let's pick up the incorrect statement. So, Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana was launched in the year 2015 and not 17. Okay, so the first statement is incorrect. Also, it does not take any collateral for its loans and advances. So, the second statement is also incorrect. The third statement is correct that loans up to rupees 10 lakh can be given to the non corporate, non farm, small micro enterprises under the scheme. So, one and second being incorrect, the correct answer is option A. Public sector banks are experiencing a sharp surge in the proportion of mudra loans turning into non performing assets following the impact of COVID on incomes and repayment capacity of borrowers, according to bankers and an analysis of available data from State Level Bankers Committee. PMMY was launched by the government in 2015 and we have discussed this third statement. Mudra has created three products, Shishu, Kishore and Tarun, as per the stage of growth and funding needs of the beneficiary micro unit. Loans under the scheme are collateral free loans. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to G20. India will be holding the G20 presidency from 1st December 2022. India has been a member of G20 since its inception in 1999. Piyush Koyal has been appointed as India's Sherpa for the G20. We have to select the correct statement. So, yes, India will be holding the G20 presidency from 1st December 2022. And also as a part of the Troika, India has been a member of the G20 since its inception in 1999 and the third statement is correct the correct answer is option d commerce and industry minister piyush koyal has been appointed as india's sherpa for the g20 which is an influential grouping that brings together the world's major economies the next g20 summit is scheduled to take place from 30th to 31st of next month under Italian presidency. India will be holding the G20 presidency from 1st of December. India will convene the G20 Leaders Summit in 2023 for the first time. Moving on to the next question, consider the following statements with respect to UNICEF. It was created in 1946 as International Children's Emergency Fund. It is not a permanent but an associated body of the UN. We have to select the correct statement. So, yes, if you talk about the first statement, this is correct. It was created in 1946 as International Children's Emergency Fund, but it is, an, it is a permanent member of the UN and not an associated member. So, the correct answer to this question is option A. Around 300 unaccompanied Afghan children have been evacuated from Kabul since the Taliban took over on 15th August, United Nations Children's Fund said recently, UNICEF was created in 1946 as International Children's Emergency Fund by the UN Relief Rehabilitation Administration to help children affected by World War II. Moving on, UNICEF became a permanent member or a part of the UN in 1953. Let's look at the practice question. Consider the following statements. Geet Govind an important text of the Bhakti movement depicts the relationship between Lord Krishna and his consort Radha. Geet Govind is originally written by the 12th century poet Jaydev. Victoria Memorial Hall in Kolkata has put on display one of its oldest manuscripts, a 118th century copy of Geet Govind. So we have to select the correct statement. I hope you'll be answering it correctly in the comment segment. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.